Hello everyone, this is the Kafir Canard. It is a $70 rank 7 premium in the Israeli tech tree. What I want to accomplish in this video is review it and tell you if it's worth $70 or not. So the first thing you have is a radar rangefinder. It can go up to 10 kilometers. You've got the same great engine as the Kafir C2. You get Let's go here. The 30 millimeter DEFA 552 cannons. And then you have 500s, 750s, 1000s, and 2000 pound bombs. There's also this type of loadout where you get a fuel tank. You don't want to carry that because it'll worsen your, mo your mobility and your maneuverability. Now the suggested loadout I run right here is 11 500 pound bombs in this layout and two AIM-9Gs. Now speaking of AIM-9Gs, the missiles you get on this thing is AIM-9Gs, Sheffrier 2s, and AIM-9Ds. I would run the AIM-9Gs because they slave to your radar rangefinder. The keybinds you'll need to use this efficiently is weapon lock which is right here set I set it to 1 because all my guns are set to left click the next thing you need is fire air to air missile set this right next to your weapon lock so it's it's easy to press now next thing you need is drop bomb series this will make it so you set it whenever you spawn in It'll drop that, that specific amount of bombs whenever you press the button once. Now, that should be all you need. Oh, one last thing. You gotta find and set up your radar scope scale. This will increase the range of your radar to its maximum capacity. So like I said earlier, this thing goes up to 10 kilometers. And because of its great engine, it is extremely fast at 10.7. Sadly, you'll fight stuff like F-16s, MiG-29s, and F-14s. Now, with these 500s, with 11 of them, you can destroy a base, which will give you 20,000 silver lines per base. And a player kill will give you 12,000 silver lines. Um, I don't know the exact amount of RP it gives you for player kills, but I'm pretty sure bombing in a base gives you around 4,000 RP. Um, I don't know what that is. It is day one of the update after all, so expected bugs. Here's another Kefir Canard. Now, what I do is, at the start, I run 11 bombs for my bomb series, one and a half seconds for our bombs, and a full tank. I, pull, I pick one of the edge bases, and I go bomb it. Now, you obviously look around, see what VR you're in, and you just go bomb the base and that'll give you 20,000 silver lines that easily. Now the repair on this thing, it's only 5,400, and look at those modifiers, 700%. That's what I think makes this one, this rank seven, at least this rank seven, worth the $70. Now we're at Mach one, or point eight, and there's our airfield. This thing is really fast. So, we're just gonna fly towards the airfield, or our base, the base. And then we're going to bomb it. So there we go. We just hit mock. This thing has a great cockpit, a great view. The RWR is in a good spot. And the crosshair is also pretty good. So 
I think this guy is going to try and take the base. I'm not even going to try. I'm just, I'm just going to go for this other one. So there's our radar warning receiver. We're going to dive down as low as we can get so that our so that the radar missiles don't fly and hit us. Instead, they'll just fly into the ground. Now you'll see we're at 130 meters and we're going Mach 1.9. We're coming up on the base. We're going to pull up to the side. We're going to aim back down. And then we're going to bomb the base. Now you'll see right here, it's gone. 20,000 Silver Lions, 4,000 RP. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our radar rangefinder to 10 kilometers and we're going to look for an enemy who is not flaring. So there you see, turn on weapon lock and it'll lock onto anything in range of your radar rangefinder. Reduce our speed so we don't die. And we're going to missile to our heart's content. Now I'm by no means good with these guns. I hardly use them that much. And we got missile. A little too many A10s for me. I don't like A9Ls at all. But other than that, that's it. See ya.